Fox trying to create a new holiday. The network launched an ad campaign urging people to stay home the day after the Super Bowl. I would encourage this. Last year, 17 million people took the day off after the Super Bowl. This year, we can do way better. The ads uh, launched during last night's Ladies divisional playoff game between Seattle and Green Bay. Fox wants Super Bowl viewers to stay up late after the game and watch its show, The Masked Singer, without having to worry about working the day after. Joining us right now is Charles Duhigg, writer for The New Yorker and author of The Power of Habit. Also got a podcast. Should we talk about the podcast as well? Uh, how um, to with Charles Alex, Duhigg. Uh, Alex Kantrowitz, uh, senior technology uh, reporter uh, for BuzzFeed and the author of the upcoming book, Always Day One. Are you encouraging? Do you like the idea of the day off? Should we all? Not if I have off? to watch The Masked Singer to get the day off. <laughs> um, do you have to? It's not tied. To, uh, that's not part of the deal, right? To watch the show? It said stay up. you got to watch The Masked Singer to get the day off. That's, I, I kind of like that's the idea, a, though, no? What, what I, I, what, taking time off? Yeah, we like that. What uh, I love is that it used to be that like the church would create new holidays. Now it's companies that create new holidays. Hallmark has created something. That's right? true. Hallmark's created lots of holidays. If you remember, Bra when I was growing up, Black Friday after Thanksgiving, that wasn't a thing. Right. That was like a creation of Amazon and other companies. Right. Actually, after 2001, to uh, to in it, to sort of create a new I holiday. I think we ought to stop. Just stop effing around and go to the Sweden thing. The four days, six hour days. I mean, let's just you know, let's just admit what we are lazy and just work four days a week and do. Is it six hours? Did you see that they went? To, was it Sweden last week or Denmark? She, the, or? the the whatever she right. is, the prime minister wants to go to that. Yeah. Okay, we've got a couple other items. I want to show you this real quick. Check this out. This is YouTube's product chief spotted at the 49ers game with the NFL's Roger Goodell over the weekend. You're looking at, uh, oh, are we just showing that? That's all we're going to show? That's, that, that, that's all we got. That's all we got. I thought we had more than that. Um, I wanted to, what did you say? No, no, I just wondered. I didn't understand. Were you looking for a sound bite or something? No, I thought that we were, I thought oh. we were actually showing video of them together. And oh. I had a question that I was going to go to about sort of uh, Facebook and, and, and all of that. But I'm going to ask you a different question because both of you have followed this. And this is what's happening at Google, or I should say Alphabet. Uh, this is David Drummond, uh, the, uh, the chief legal officer of the company, stepping down after all of these reports over all of this time. Is with everybody now out of Google, meaning Larry, Sergey, David, is this a different company than it was even just six months ago? I mean, this is an important fresh start. You know, you speak to anybody at Google, and they always end the conversation with, and why is David Drummond still there? I mean, this was a real source of angst among Google employees, that they said that they were turning the page, that they weren't going to be handing out any more $90 million settlements for, or payouts for people accused of sexual harassment. And then they have David Drummond with you right. know, a lot of skeletons in his closet, at least according to reports, and still standing there working at the company. So I do think that Google needed to refresh its leadership uh, but it feels like the entire leadership of this company has now been refreshed. Absolutely. I mean, there's just no, it's like a, a full clearing. And I would actually argue that this is a fresh start that's starting with Google for possibly the Valley, right? We saw these companies that, have, that originally started because there were small teams of founders who came together. They created a culture that was based around cults of personality or at least their personality. And now we see Google, the, right. the giant, wiping out everyone who came and started that company and really bringing in a professional class. The question is, how long does it take for others? Facebook. Right. Um, we've already seen it at Apple right. with the replacement of, of Steve Jobs. There's going to be, this is a mature industry now. Right. It is a mature technology sector. And at some point, we're going to see right. the professional class come through.